fear of man, 25. It ensnares us in so many ways. Um, and one of Satan's tools, one that ensnared me for the longest time, um, it keeps you out of God's purpose for you. One of the things that it did for me for the longest time uh, was fear. Fear, what will they say? You know, fear, what will people think? Just fear. Um, you know, fear is a liar. Well, not really. <laughs> it really isn't because you are really are afraid, you know, when you're like <laughs> shaking in your boots when you when you get in front of people and you try to talk, you know, yeah, it's fear. You just have to push through it. It's not really a liar. I always thought that was the stupidest thing, you know. You you feel the fear. You have to, but you have to walk through it. It's the only way to get over fear is to do it afraid. And um, so what's one of his tools, like I saying, is to be afraid of, to keep you trapped. And uh, let's see what else is this verse saying here. But when you put your trust in the Lord, you're going to be safe. Our fear should be in our fear should not be in man. Our fear should be in the Lord. We fear him. And because we fear him, we know we are safe from man. <laughs> you know, who cares what man thinks? You have to get to that place to get to that. I don't care what man thinks. And then you do it afraid until you're not afraid anymore. You know, do God's plan afraid until you're not afraid anymore. And he'll hold your hand through it which is, you know, a great picture. Where does it say that? It's in Isaiah. Oh, I won't be able to find it, but he's just showed me a verse. Let me see if I can find it. If you guys would bear with me for a minute. And I'm looking at my completely decimated Bible, which it gets worse and worse. Well, I found it actually. Here's the single page. It's Isaiah 41. Um, Fear not, for I am with you. 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. And I've read these verses. I've prayed these verses because, like I said, fear is not a liar. Um, I will strengthen you. I will hold your hand. And yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Thank him for holding my hand. In verse 13, for I, the Lord thy God, will hold your hand, saying unto you, do not fear, I will help you. He knows his people. <laughs> he, know, he knows the enemy, too. He knows the enemy. Which, Go ahead. Which chapter of Isaiah was that? 41, verses 10 and verses 13. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and he knows that we get afraid. And he, Harry's telling us, honey, I'll hold your hand. Just trust in me. You know, I've got your hand. So um, it's one of the verses that he said multiple times in the New Testament as well. Fear not. You know, I am with you. Something always important to remember. And then I have a reference verse here. Was somebody going to say something? Yeah, I was just going to say that um, um, just recently I was tormented with um, just fear and anxiety. And, um, and I was praying and I was reading the Bible. But um, I guess I, I hadn't, I, I was doing those things, but I wasn't fully trusting. You know what I mean? And until... Um, until I came across this um, Bible verse, and I'm trying to find it, but it says that we have power and authority in Jesus's name. And once I've uh, read that, and I've, I've um, um, continued reading that and, and other references um, surrounding that, my standpoint when it came to fear and anxiety totally changed, um, because now I'm speaking Jesus's name, you know, over these things. And 
Um, it, it, and, and to tell you the truth, you know, we read that um, scripture in, um, or the verse in 20, uh, Proverbs 28, chapter 28, you know, it's liberating, you know, and um, I'm reading, um, uh, I can't remember which verse it is, or, or what, what Bible, or what book it is in, but it says where the spirit of the Lord is, you know, there's freedom, you know, and um, I just love it, <laughs> it falls together. There's also another verse that you just reminded me of, and I think possibly the verse of that you were talking about, there is more than one verse that talks about um, our authority, but it might be uh, Mark 16, 19. Let me jump over there really quick and see if that's if the one you're talking about. I have so many notes that I'm just, <laughs> I can't remember where I Me wrote too. It, everything down. <laughs> Mark 16. And in these signs shall follow them that believe. Maybe this isn't the one. But when you believe in my name, you're able to cast out devils and they shall speak with new tongues. That's probably not the one that you're talking about. But when you believe, that is when he gives you your authority. Um, so that's one verse about authority. But there's another verse. And for some reason, and it's something I talk, I, I say to myself on occasion, but I'm not remembering the verse really right now. But fear is actually a spirit. It's a spirit of fear. And, it, and the Lord says, I did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Second yes. Timothy 1 7. That's what I there just go, sister. Oh, you <laughs> did? Oh, there it is. Yes. That's what I, I love that verse. You know, it's a spirit. Um, and he didn't give that to us. Right. The enemy over us, making us afraid. Right. And um, but he gave us a spirit of power. And we just need to hold on to that. That's who we are of love. And of self-control or a sound mind, depending on which version you read it in. Yeah. So that one's hanging on my on my door, on my mirrors and dry erase. <laughs> <laughs> which which book was that again? Second Timothy 1 7. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that one, you know, fear gets us, gets all of us from time to time. We just need to remind ourselves of who God is, you know, and uh, and then do the things afraid until we're not afraid anymore, holding God's hand through it, because he tells us that he'll hold our hands. 